Hello everyone. So, Unusual Times Inspiring Unusual Methods um, might have been a, a less clickbait title for this assembly, but here we are, virtually gathered, whilst outside our doors, if we were together in groups of more than two, we'd be doing something wrong. But it's been a strange week. I'm sure, like me, this last week, there's been a r wide range of feelings, um, ranging from anxiety, a kind of excitement, to disbelief and cabin fever and kind of frustration or lots of other things maybe too. One minute you might have been enjoying the relative freedom from that normal lockdown working week that we have and the next you're feeling that lack of freedom in, in your in your lockdown like like a physical blow. Um, I thought for the first of our locked down assemblies I take a look at five possible ways that things might never be the same again in a good way that maybe when we come out the other side of all this, we'll have recalibrated or reset a few things. We'll we'll come out into the light, blinking into the light, and uh, in the, of our regained freedom. And we won't want to immediately begin as we left off. Um, we'd have had a chance to reassess our lives a little bit, work out what's a real value. And sometimes it is hard to work out the real value of things when you're busy, 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 rush, 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 worry, 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 buy stuff, buy stuff, buy stuff. So. How might we make the best of a fresh start? So here are five things. You might think of some more. Number one, will all of this help us to redefine our definition of what our essential services are and think about how we want to start valuing them as a society? We've talked and heard a lot about key workers in the past few days. Um, we realise that society can't function without those key workers being able to do what they do. Um, the NHS doctors and nurses and staff got big clap yesterday. You may have seen on the news or heard out of your window, which is great. But what are the drivers and cleaners, the food factory workers, um, s sort of sectors of, of society that are, are often overlooked or underpaid? School staff too. It's no, no surprise that schools were kept open as long as they were because they're they're key in that functionally healthy society. So is this, a dis is this a chance to redefine what's of value, reflect that in the way those key workers are appreciated socially and financially? That's number one. Number two is about the environment. Now, what a beautiful week it's been. Here, here in London, we've had clear blue skies and sunshine after what has felt a little bit like about six months of solid rain. Everything out the window looks beautiful. And when you go outside for your authorized exercise, the air f feels cleaner. Um, around the world too, nature has been taking a, a deep breath. And whilst the uh, pictures of dolphins swimming in the canals of Venice might be just too good to be true, um, pollution levels have plummeted as we reconsider which of our journeys are essential. Can cheap air travel be the norm after all of this? Are, are we going to continue to have people sh slogging into the office uh, to do desk jobs when they've discovered how effective they can be working from home? Um, might climate change and other environmental concerns move up in our global scale of values? Number three, exercise. So the nation seems to have woken up to the value of their health in more ways than one and look out the window or go for a walk and so many joggers, cyclists, there's TV workout videos everywhere. Might this period of restricted movement create a new movement where daily exercise is, is seen as an essential right like food or shelter? Might we come out of this pandemic healthier than we were before it? Number four. I think the fourth way in which things might be better after all this has passed is in the in the realm of reconnection, the, the way that we reconnect with each other. Another irony then is we've never been so isolated from each other before and yet suddenly we've become far more aware of the, the elderly or the vulnerable. So J.B. Priestley, whose thoughts on this we know very well from our study of an inspector calls, will be very pleased with the way society is feeling more responsible for each other. A, a, a smile at a stranger goes a long way at the moment. Maybe this will have changed us. Um, at the very least, it's an experience that we will all have shared and we will all have in common for the rest of our lives. It, and in an age where we're constantly being told how divided we are, maybe this shared experience 
uh, can't be a bad thing or can't wholly be a bad thing. And then finally, number five. Now, controversial, this one. It's about screens. I, I don't know about you, but I've never spent so much time on a screen as I have in the past week. In, I don't think in my whole life. The screens for setting lessons, uh, marking work, reading and replying emails, screens keeping up with the news, screens for music, screens for downtime, screens for messages from friends, um, loads and loads of messages from friends. Some of them just wanting to kind of reach out for a connection, others passing on one of, you know, endless corona related memes, um, which may end up with us having to change our definition of viral. Um, so some of this communication has been very welcome, of course. I've got one WhatsApp chat where somebody will, every now and again, somebody will ask, you know, what's your, uh, if you were a professional sportsman, what would you be? And, and everyone then starts thinking about that. I, th I thought surfer, maybe. I thought surfing, nice locations, great tan, that'd be quite a healthy, nice way to live. Or he, he would, somebody else would ask, what's your top five albums of all time, which is really hard, um, really hard to do or top five pro cycling wins, or maybe that's a bit niche for you all. Um, but overall, I'm feeling a bit screened out. And here's the interesting thing for me, that in normal life, there's sometimes a sense of looking forward to some screen time as a, as a passive switch off from busy life. So if the screen's there all the time, it feels different. I've got a friend, I'll give you a quick example, a friend who recorded an album in the early noughties um, and everyone was busy recording with digital audio workstations. They were using their computers to record. Um, but he chose not to and he instead used some alternative machines to, to create his record. And when I asked him why, he explained that he sits at a screen all day for his work. So when he, when he comes home to make music, he didn't want more screen. So my hour unlimited access and opportunity to consume from screens during this lockdown mean that we start to look elsewhere for our leisure. Um, there's a well-known saying that, that people once used to go online to escape the real world and, and now they turn to the real world to escape being online. So might all this ironically make us want to raise our heads from the screen, think about what else we could be doing, who knows? So that is five ideas on how things might be changed for the better by all of this it's not to you know under 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 what's the what's the word undermine the the real anxieties that we might have for one another um and the fact that you'll be worrying for for elderly family members and 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 so forth and the and the news is, is certainly a, a source of anxiety for lots of you i know um but we will come through the other side of this um and it might be worth thinking about how we're going to use this enforced reflection, uh, this this pause on the everyday rush to think about how we might start again refreshed and renewed and make some improvements. So we'll finish there. Use the rest of this period, because I know that you are religiously following your timetables, um, year 12 and 13. Um, please use the rest of this period to... Get yourself outside if you haven't been outside. Get some fresh air. Enjoy the sunshine. Who knows how long it will last. Go for a run. Go for a walk. Go for a bike ride. Go and look at a tree. Listen to some birds. Find some nature. Get your head out and free your, free your thoughts for, for a little while before coming back inside. Um, one thing that this whole thing might do for us is it, it, it might help us to redefine what being healthy is and, and fully invest in the idea of healthiness being about body and mind so look after yourselves um, stay positive stay active um, i hope to see you all soon and all the best <laughs>